All right, guys, just a quick one here. The SEC did tweet out uh, that the Bitcoin ETFs were approved, and then about five minutes later, ugh, it was retracted saying they were hacked. Um, let's see here. I think we deleted the images, and I got to go back to Discord. So we deleted our initial tweet. Just want to put out a follow up video here that the F or the EFTs, ETFs, yikes. Um, we're not approved. Sorry, I'm a little flustered here with all this. And, uh, Twitter is, x.com is on fire right now uh, with what is going on. So this was the initial tweet that came out. So today the SEC grants approval of Bitcoin ETFs for listings on all registered national security exchanges. The approved Bitcoin ETFs will be subject to ongoing surveillance and compliance measures to ensure investor protections. And then, um, Right after that came out, Gary Gensler, 46 minutes ago, said the SEC government Twitter was compromised and an unauthorized tweet was posted. The SEC has not approved the listing of trading of spot Bitcoin exchange trading products. So the question is, were they hacked or did something come out that uh, came out early, perhaps on an improper schedule or an intern tweeted something? It does not say they were hacked, right? It just says it was compromised. Uh, they did get control of the account immediately back after that happened. Um, which is another red flag to me that, you know, they potentially uh, was an insider and not an actual hack, right? So let's just go to at SEC Gov. So here's the official. Uh, da -da 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 -da. The SEC account was compromised, so it is officially there, and the old tweet has been deleted. Uh, if you just hop over into uh, Twitter, they are having a field day with this. Uh, hi, Elon Musk. Can you confirm the SEC was hacked as they were claiming? They told you transparency with the market was vital and took you to court. Uh, surely applies to them too. That I fully agree with. Uh, Charles Gasparino over at Fox News, I believe still. Um, actually, uh, people still pretty much hate this guy over the GameStop stuff. Uh, but security law lawyers tell Fox Business the SEC Gov will have an investigation into itself for market manipulation after moving the price of BTC up and down following the hack tweet that it had approved the first bot Bitcoin ETF and then saying it was fake. Uh, <laughs> scrolling through this, I'm sure they're going to be uh, hilarious. Uh, just some other reminders here of what the SEC has said in the past. Uh, scrolling down here, again, here's that official tweet. And uh, I got this one here. Let's just go ahead and open this in <clears throat> open link so you can see it a little bigger. So back in October of this year, on the 16th, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission official Twitter account, careful what you read on the internet, the best source of information about the SEC is the SEC. Uh, that turns out to be completely false. They could not even secure their own Twitter account, uh, be it a hack or from insider, uh, you know, getting access to it. Uh, how are they supposed to protect investors at the end of the day? That's rather funny. Uh, but man, it's just wild out there right now. Uh, I sure hope somebody answers to some of this tomorrow. Uh, the <laughs> Bitcoin ETF fake out right here from Altcoin Daily. Um, uh, 32 seconds ago, Bitcoin archive, the SAC will have to investigate itself for market manipulation. And let's just take a look at the charts here and see what happened. Uh, we are on Aptos here because we were looking for an entry on that. And this is a weekly chart. That's not going to help us. Let's take a look at the 15 minute. So the second the tweet went out, we were actually, I was following this for a short uh, potentially into tomorrow when this actually got approved. So my theory immediately was this could have been a scheduled tweet for tomorrow that came out a day early as they just screwed up on the time frame of it on the scheduler. But as soon as it was approved, we shot up. And let's get this a little bigger here. And now TA is going to be screwed up pretty immensely. So only a 3% jump, but we cracked a new all-time high. 48K was tapped. And then... The retracement came pretty quick right after that, and we dropped about 7%. Now, now we're just kind of flagging out. Uh, we got this interesting diamond pattern here starting to form. Uh, but nonetheless, this is just bullshit, right? I can't believe. Honestly, look where this went. Right into the trend line. Uh, right into the trend line, and we'll probably have something similar like this starting to form. So we're watching a diamond pattern, unfortunately, again. 
uh, into what could be going on tomorrow. So potentially the SEC could really approve this stuff tomorrow is the deadline uh, for this. But at this point, who the hell knows? Uh, would not be surprised if we saw a decline. Uh, the SEC today did put out a series of tweets. Uh, here is our new bearish divergence indicator. We're going to go ahead and take that and throw that over in Discord. That is Jason Casper. Bear Div on the four hour. Uh, actually, I don't even know if that was the four hour time frame. Uh, where do we have the SEC up here? That was Joe Biden. SEC. Fuck. <laughs> SEC Gov. Uh, the funny thing was, is they put out a series of tweets today like they were preparing us for this news to happen, uh, talking about um, uh, how to not go FOMO into Bitcoin. Uh, was this actually on the SEC's page, or was this at Gary Gensler? That might have been actually on Gary Gensler's page. At Gary. Well, now I can't even find it. Did we tweet at him? I can't remember. SEC Gov. Here's Gary. Here's Gary again. Don't even follow him, honestly. Now here, if you're considering an investment considering an investment involving crypto assets, be cautious. Crypto assets and securities may be or crypto asset securities may be market may be marketed as new opportunities, but there are serious risks involved. Uh, and read SEC investor ed their op eds uh, thread today. Uh, something to keep in mind when considering investing into crypto. And his thread was uh, seriously interrupted here. Did he not actually do a thread correctly? So apparently they don't know how to even thread on Twitter, let alone keep their account secure. That's actually wild. So uh, they should start mainly with securing their Twitter accounts and not worrying about uh, protecting investors potentially. Who knows? Uh, the biggest manipulation, in my opinion, this year on the crypto half was from the SEC. That sucks, man. Uh, either way, it didn't happen today. We got a false alarm. I'm not sure how you're even supposed to take this next one seriously. So if they do officially tweet it out, are we supposed to wait five minutes and see if it gets retracted again as a false alarm? Um, but the markets did not uh, love this at all, unfortunately. But I'm going to wrap it up there, guys. As always, don't forget to hop in Discord, the DeFi Rebels slide, dot, DeFi Rebels dot GG. That is improper. Uh, I am flowing really hard here. So Discord.gg slash DeFi Rebels. It will be in the link in the description below for you. Uh, and that's it. I'll catch you in the next one. I'm out of here.